Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, friends and colleagues. I'm, I'm really honored to be here today in, in this beautiful setting. Um, it is actually not easy to grow up as a woman in our region. Uh, women are faced with ideals and standards that they should pursue and live up to every day of their lives. Amidst all these um, voices that set these ideals, women need to find their own inner voice, their own self and their own passion to grow and become productive members in their own communities. And not only that, but also to have control over their lives and uh, the ability to actually change their own world. Here is an African tribe that grants a song to a child before it's even born. When the child is born, the community sings the child's song to welcome it. And then as the child grows, if it gets hurt or does, or does something wonderful, then as a way of honoring the child, the people of the village sing his or her song. As the child grows, it starts recognizing its own song. In marriage and in death, the song is sung. We might not have grown in an African tribe that sings our song, but in the end, we all shall recognize our song and sing it well. Women in the Middle East and North Africa region have achieved impressive gains in a number of social indices, but still have the world's lowest rates of labor. According to the World Bank Gender Equality in the <coughs> Arab World Report released in March 2013, it is estimated that if the current MENA employment rates um, stay as they are, and all those in the working age population look for work, there will be 50 million unemployed men in the year 2050, and a staggering 145 unemployed women. The employment gap between men and women has almost doubled in the last 25 years. The fact is that if we continue to ignore half the population as a nation or a region, we will forever deny ourselves advancement and development. Another important fact is the high level of education that girls are receiving in our region. Girls now are far better educated and now outnumber men at university level. If we do not capitalize on that, then we are not only wasting uh, uh, potential and talent, but also wasting resources. Concerted actions are needed to change a whole set of legal, cultural, and work environment related hurdles that limit women's, women employment and that create an, an uh, environment that is not inducive for women employability. Having said that, I will actually have to challenge the importance of the legal, cultural, and environmental factors, but not undermine them, and shed light on what we at the Business Development Center have witnessed in the past years, building the skill set of young women. In brief, sitting on the sidelines, waiting to be invited is no longer an option for many of our women. Building the skill set of recent graduates and enforcing positive mindset changes and ideals is what I consider the voice inside the women expressing the fact that sitting on the sideline is no longer our choice. That is why the goal of education today, argues Wagner in his book Creating Innovators, should not be that every child be college ready, but that every child should be innovation ready ready to add value to whatever they do. He adds that we need to focus on teaching the skills and the will to learn and to make a difference. And also bring the three most, ingre three most ingredients to the classroom, power, passion, and purpose. This would require reform of our education systems on the long run and the introduction of training programs and seminars on the short run. Trainings that use the fundamental shift from a curricula and methodology that rely on non-participatory trainings and learning to those that promote problem solving, creative thinking, positive thinking, negotiation, and the application of practical knowledge. Additionally, we need to promote market intelligence skills for youth through exposing and offering them the knowledge of the international markets. 
We need to build their capacity in understanding and making use of technology as a tool for competitiveness and to build their ability to plan and analyze risk and also their ability to access finance. This all will be achieved through coaching, mentoring, and exchanges. Where the rest of the world sees problems, the entrepreneurs sees opportunities. This transformation of attitude and ideals require confidence and motivation. A real change of mindset needs to be encouraged and nurtured. These are the ideals that we need to instill in our girls. These are the voices they need to hear. Our girls are unfortunately not raised to follow their dreams and not raised to create their own opportunities. Motivation, confidence, and determination is the key in our quest to support women to become creators. It is also crucial to understand that the discovery of, sorry, of the self leads to entrepreneurial thinking and behaviors. I would like to end by highlighting uh, testimonials from three Jordanian young women who have been trained on entrepreneurial and soft skills. <clears throat> Randa Husnil Bakr said, what I've learned from the entrepreneurial training program is that being an entrepreneur and succeeding in what you do requires taking risks. The program motivated me to think outside the box and to challenge myself in using my ideas to start my business. The program allowed me to conquer the fear and hesitancy within myself, and instead it highlighted my strength and capabilities. Majd Suleiman Arabiyat said, the training program taught me to live and think as an entrepreneur and embedded entrepreneurship in my lifestyle. The program changed my way of thinking. I learned not to sit and wait for a job, but rather create my own opportunities by challenging myself and following my passion. She adds, our greatest glory consists in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Uh, Farah Abdel Ilah al Rishik said, When I was a little girl, I had a dream to, open my, to own a big company. When I grew up, I forgot the dream because I didn't have any idea how to start a business or a company. But everything changed when I took this entrepreneurial course. I told myself that I have to fulfill my dream. Through the course, I learned the techniques needed to start my own business. I was taught that entrepreneurship is in the blood, the mind, and the heart. Just follow your senses, and you will get on the right track. At the end, we shall all recognize our song and sing it well. Thank you.